And now, from Fox 55 News, this is your local sports. Hey, good evening, everyone. Well, hard to believe, but the final week of the high school football regular season is upon us. And for the first time this year, our game of the week takes us up to Waterloo. We're talking about a top 15 showdown between DeKalb and Leo. And our Peter Hood has more on the matchup. Prince, I got my jacket on. It feels like playoff football weather, and there's sure to be a playoff-like atmosphere in Waterloo tomorrow night when two of the NEA's best square off here at Young Stadium. And although there likely won't be a conference title on the line, still a big game for both squads as they look to build some momentum heading into a tough sectional. And for DeKalb, well, the Barons haven't beaten the Lions since this league was formed in 2015. So a win on Friday night would be massive for Pete Kemp's program. Oh, we're still looking for our signature win. We haven't quite had it yet. Obviously, a win over Angola was big for us this year. A um, win over New Haven is big for us this year, especially as we begin to see them and how good they actually can be. Uh, but yet, we're still looking for that one win that we haven't had yet as a program since the NEA has started. And, uh, you know, it's an opportunity for us to do that Friday night. Oh, it would mean a lot for us. Haven't been 8 and 1 since 2002. So, beating Leo. Haven't beat them yet, like I said. So it's just like it puts us to where our point where we're at, like ready for Columbia City, and we are ready to win. It'd mean a lot, especially um, you know we haven't beat them. So it'd be a great momentum booster and showing them that we're here to play and that we can win and we're not just pushovers. A lot of people are putting us or ranking us under DeKalb, which none of us on this team believes that we should be there. But uh, if we win, then it kind of sends a statement to everybody around that's really, I'd just say, sleeping on us, I guess. Yeah, definitely. Momentum is everything. So if we could get a big win this week, um, I think it would really help carrying on to uh, Engel and sectionals. Well, it's important, you know, especially when you have a quality opponent like DeKalb. Um, you know, you're going to see, you know, we, we talk about improving every week and so we're going to find that out this week if if in the past several weeks we've gotten better because they're, they're certainly a, a really good football team well coached football team and um, you know it's going to give us a little bit of an idea of, of where we're at and where we need to be going into sectional play. Kickoff set for 7 p.m. here at Young Stadium should be a good one of course we'll have highlights from this game and several more for you in the locker room tomorrow night unfortunately no Jay Prince he'll be out but here's the big fella to tell you what you can expect to see on the show Friday night. Thanks, Pete. And while that game between DeKalb and Leo is a big one, it'll likely be second place in the NE8 as East Noble can clinch their conference championship outright with a win over, over Belmont. Meanwhile, the Three Rivers Conference title will be on the line tomorrow when Tippy Valley hosts Southwood. All that plus a full postseason preview with Pete and Dan Vance tomorrow night at 1030 in the locker room.